Hey, what's up guys? I'm here in Berlin, Germany. Many of you guys know that I'm participating in a 21-day Osho dynamic meditation camp that's put on by my friends Chris Locke and Ali Von Stein at their Osho studio here in Berlin. And if you live anywhere nearby, anywhere in Europe, I totally invite you to come and check them out. They've got programs running every month for you to come and do 21 days of dynamic meditation. They do Kundalini meditation and they do all the various active meditations that were brought to us by Osho. The thing is that there aren't too many places in the world where you can do this. And I was lucky enough to meet Krishana and Ali over oh, about 15 years ago in New York City when they had their studio there. The purpose of my newest project, Grounding Camp, is to bring Osho active meditations and bioenergetics to the world. So if you can't make it to Berlin, don't you worry, a grounding camp will be coming to a city near you and over the course of the next few years, the intention is to have an opportunity for anyone worldwide who wants to participate in Osho active meditations to do so. It's that powerful and I am a campaigner, meaning anything that I find in my life that is of great value I intend to share it with you. I did that with strongman training. I did it with corrective exercise. I did it through my Yo Elliott videos. I did it through the, all the advice videos I've given you. My job is to take what helps me and share it with you. Well, anyway, today during our dynamic meditation, there is a section in the meditation where you are to steep yourself in stillness. Those of you who are not familiar with dynamic meditation, there are five stages. The first two stages are about charging the body with breath and catharsis, movement, all kinds of spontaneous movement, sound, dance, shouting, shaking, whatever it is that uh, is coming up in your body, really tracking the energy in your body and allowing these things to process in a safe, contained environment. After that stage, the third stage allows you to sink into stillness. And it's during this stillness portion of the dynamic meditation that oftentimes there are insights that I receive. And one was the art of awareness. And I know that you, you, there's a lot of talk about being aware and awareness and you know, these meditative terms that are growing in popularity because we are waking up and people are becoming more aware. But there may be some confusion about where to begin with awareness. What the heck does that actually mean? I'm aware. A, a siren went off. I hear it. Uh, someone, uh, there's a beautiful woman walking by. I'm aware of her. Well, those are all external circumstances. Those are all external stimuli. True awareness begins on the inside. Now, that can also be confusing because when I say awareness begins on the inside, oftentimes we go immediately to our heads. To be aware of what's going on in our thoughts is powerful, but to be steeped in our thoughts is a distraction. Most of our thoughts are also an outside distraction because they aren't our own thoughts. If you listen to yourself for a moment, you'll begin to realize that those thoughts come from other people. They come from uh, media. They come from conversations you've had with others. The place to really begin with stillness and awareness is what's going on in your body. Take a moment right now and notice where you may be holding some tension, right? We're very un unaware, may most of us very unconscious of how we are holding our bodies, how oftentimes we have our shoulders hiked up and we're not even aware that we're doing it, clenching the jaw, we're not aware that we're doing it, holding your fist tight, not aware that you're doing it, holding the belly in, not aware that you're doing it. Notice your feet. Is your energy drawn up out of your feet and it almost feels like your legs aren't there? Or is there so much tension in your feet that you're not even aware that you're cramping your feet up in your shoes, curling your toes up? Begin to be aware of how your body is responding. Begin to be aware of how you're using your body in an unconscious way. Now, I mentioned earlier that the dynamic meditation 
requires that we charge the body first and then release through the cathartic uh, phase. Well, if you're having a hard time noticing the sensations in your body, noticing the tensions in your body, noticing where you may have a lack of energy in your body, it may be because you need to be charged up a little bit more. So if you're having a difficult time, begin with breathing. Just become aware of how you're breathing. You can be very deliberate about it by choosing to lay down on your belly and belly or on your back and belly breathe by raising your belly and dropping your belly 30 to 50 times. I begin to notice how there are shifts taking place when you do that, right? You know, in the beginning it might feel stiff and stifled. And then over time you might find that that breath begins to open. You might also notice where the blocks are that are not allowing you to breathe as deep as you know you could be if your muscular system wasn't getting in the way. And you can do things like foam roll or myofascial self-release or corrective stretching to support yourself in those areas that seem to be locked up and blocked. So anyway, I wanted to share this with you today. Awareness and the art thereof begins with attention to the sensations in your body. Done.